Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can 3D model in the fastest way possible a 3D dryer for boxing gloves in Fusion 360. Moreover, I will present to you the final product, how you can 3D print it and of course the utility. Without any other hesitation, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important, so in order to set them correctly, I'll go here and I'll change it into millimeters. Today's drawing will be in millimeters, so everything is alright. Let's start now to create a new component. Let's go to create, new component, and I will name our component, why not, dryer. Now let's start through a new sketch. Create sketch, select this plan, let's flip it, and now let's go to the ellipse feature. Starting from the middle, this distance will be 95 millimeters. Now press left click and now the other distance will be just 60 millimeters. Let's create now a parallel shape with this. So go to the offset feature and offset it inside with minus 2.5 millimeters. So basically this will be the thickness of our dryer. Finish sketch and now we need a new sketch. But in order to create it, we need a parallel plan. So I'll go to the Construct tab, Offset Plane, I will select this one and we'll go up with 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters. Double click on the mouse wheel, left click this plan and after that right click Create Sketch. We will use this shape, so we will press the P letter for the project feature, OK. And now I will create another offset. So offset, offset it inside with minus 10 millimeters. You can now delete this line. And now select it again, offset it again with minus 2.5, just to be inside, so to have the same thickness. The second sketch is done, finish sketch, and now we'll use for two times the loft feature. The loft feature, you can find it here in the create tab. Select this surface, the other one, and press OK. By the way, it will be a new body. And now in order to cut it, to have a hole inside, we'll go here, we'll make the sketches invisible, and now we'll press the S key, and we'll write loft. Select both surfaces, those one from the inside, the operation of course will be cut, and then OK. And now this is our basic form. Let's create now a design for our boxing glove dryer. I need a new plan, so offset plane again, select this plan, it doesn't matter the length, just to be in front of it. Right click, create sketch, press the P letter again, now you can make also the body invisible, create a new line to close this boundary, and now let's offset this line, offset, drag it down with 10 millimeters. From the middle we will create a slot. So we'll go to the Create tab again, Slot, Overall Slot. Starting from the middle, we'll go down with 30 millimeters. Left click, and now we'll add the other dimension, which will be 4.5 millimeters. You can also delete that line as well. Let's create a copy to this slot. So select it from left to right, move or press the M key, create copy, and just drag it sideways and press Enter. Now. From this point, we will create a new line, so press the L letter from the middle and we'll go here with 5 plus 4.5 divided by 2. Now, select the other slot, M again, but for this time we'll go to point to point. We will select the first point and this one, and then press OK. You can also delete this line as well. And now it is a time to multiply them. In order to do that, we will use rectangular pattern. I will select the first slot, here I will go to spacing, it will be here symmetric, and instead of 15 we'll have 19. Now we'll go down, instead of 3 we'll have 5, and here minus 35, and then press OK. The same thing, we must do it also with this one, but we will apply for two times. Rectangular pattern. I will select the slot only with 2, 
here it will be minus 19 and down with 4 and minus 35 and then press OK. Go to the rectangular pattern again, select the last slot, go in the opposite direction now with only 3 and the distance will have again 19. Also we'll go down with 4 and here again minus 35. And your design should look like this. Now we'll finish the sketch, we'll make the body visible again and we'll use the emboss feature to cut it perfectly. Now you must select all of these shapes. After that you need to select the face. As you guessed it, this one it will be. And the effect will be, of course, the boss, because we want to cut it through it. I will not let it just minus 2.5, which is the thickness, because you see we have some gaps here. So let's increase it to minus 4, to be 100% sure that it will be cut. And then press OK. And our design should look like this. To have the same design in the other side, instead of creating again a new sketch and then applying the emboss feature, the fastest option it will be to press the S key first of all, right mirror, here I will select features, I will select the emboss feature, mirror plane, I will zoom out, this one it will be our plane, the plane that cuts our objects into two pieces, and the compute type just select optimized, and then press OK. And now look at that. Our boxing glove dryer is symmetric and it is perfect to print. I want to use for this time green plastic for printing. So in order to be more accurate, I'll press the A letter from appearance. I'll write here green plastic and I'll drag the color. And now I will send it into my printing machine. I started the 3D printing and waited for the model to print. I later removed these extensions and then got the desired product. I put the support in the boxing glove and now your gloves can dry on their side or in the winter time you can put them on a radiator. It is a very useful and versatile product. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away and if you have questions leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.